Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. It is 517. If you are just waking up or just joining us this morning, we're going to get a check of the weather so you can plan your weekend ahead here. Very good. Adam, great full moon when I was uh, walking out this morning. Yeah, I mean, it is really bright out there because of that moon, Alex and Scott, but it's also very humid across the area as we have yet another day of those warm temperatures in store for you. Here's a look outside from our Hub City Tower camera. Now downtown, it's interesting, we have this bank of clouds that are off in the distance that could possibly form into some fog here in the next few hours. But for the time being, there's no fog to track. I don't think we'll see a lot of it, but something to keep in mind as you head out the door this morning. You could run into some patchy fog otherwise. Very, very humid with some high clouds moving on in 72 degrees right now in Lafayette with a lot of cloud cover being reported at the airport. Those lower 70s will be sticking around. We'll see the sunshine mixing with clouds as we get later on to the morning time. That will be the key later on this afternoon as well. Radar fairly quiet. However, there are some showers up to our north. Look at this. We have some of that being reported up closer to Alexandria over towards uh, portions of Vernon Parish as well. The Sabine seeing some light rain out there. So, you know, there is the possibility of a sprinkle or two, but I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. Now, this is why we're starting to see some fog possibilities out there. Most of us are seeing a breeze around five to maybe even up to 10 miles an hour, but Lafayette and Morgan City have gone calm, and so that would allow some fog to settle on in. But as things stand right now, things are quiet. We'll watch for that patchy fog through about 8 o'clock this morning. Temperatures settle right about 70. As we get later on to around 10, 11 o'clock today, we see those temperatures getting to 80 degrees. Not really looking at any rain out there for the morning time. And even into the afternoon, this is one o'clock. We're looking at those mid and upper 80s. Now, yesterday we actually saw a good bit of rain form up here. If you were from New Iberia up to around Lafayette, there was a string of showers that just kept forming up. We could see something like that again today. I think the rain chance 10%, maybe up to around 20 if we do start to see some of those showers popping up. But generally, it should be a dry day. 88 degrees, an isolated sprinkle possible but mostly sun and clouds mixing. Overnight, we're going to see those temperatures right around 70. I think we'll see a lot of clouds. Our winds will likely be lighter and some fog will start to form up. Now for your weekend, we'll be in the mid and upper 80s, both Saturday and Sunday. Again, an isolated sprinkle will be possible, but look at this. After we get through Sunday, a big, big drop in temperatures here. Yeah, you're seeing that right. Halloween, which is Tuesday, a high below 60 degrees. Two big drops. That is a chill. So it is going to be a cool one. We will see a few showers still lingering about the area there Monday into Tuesday. I still think that'll be around lunchtime that we see that rain lingering. Trick or treating should be fine, but it is going to be very chilly. Yeah. Make sure the kids are bundled up and we're going to have those strong winds too. Those are great drops though. You go to 72 and then you go to 59. Yeah. And that 72 <coughs> will likely come in the morning time on Monday. By the way, quick question. Are you guys Harry Potter fans? Not at all. So I saw the symphony, about half of it, the symphony and Harry Potter last night, Katie mm -hmm. and the Symphony Orchestra. Wonderful production. Uh, Mr. Gerald, uh, Miss Karen, thank you so much for your hospitality. But wow. wonderful, wonderful outing. Good Absolutely. turnout, too. Yeah. 